these are lenses, these are mirrors. We'll be sent through the mirror. So our research found that there are, on average, um, a quarter of a million particles, uh, including both microplastics and nanoplastics, um, per liter of the bottled water. If the plastic particles breaks up, it does not stop at the micron size. It can actually go even smaller. So once it, the size goes below one micron, people call it nanoplastics, because now it's in its size is in the nano range. There are actually other techniques uh, people commonly use to study nanoparticles. Uh, it's called electron microscopy. They can actually see very tiny particles uh, in nanometer size, but they don't tell you um, if the particle is plastic or not. So our techniques is kind of the com combines the both benefits. Uh, being able to see smaller and then being able to tell that uh, what type of plastic chemical composition is that. I mean, whether we see it or not, it's out there. So it's better that we actually know how much is out there and what they are. Um, but I myself, as a scientist, I would want more data in terms of the toxicology study to actually know that um, whether how um, how harmful it would be to my own body.